Hello all. Just wanted to talk about um, storage and moving your possessions or your necessities, whatever you want to call it, onto an airboat. Now, I've been watching lots of vlogs and uh, there's very... Well, I have, to be honest with you, I haven't really... So far, I haven't seen anything uh, discussing this. Although I've had a lot of nice replies on social media. So, uh, yeah, how do you know what to take on a boat? Well, as you probably know, well, assuming you've watched my previous videos, I've yet to go onto a boat, a narrow boat. So it's all new to me and it's quite a puzzle. You know, you, um, I know you, it's not just down to the size of the boat, it's down to how it's fitted. So, uh, you know, so, some are uh, um, pretty open plan. Do you just stack your plastic boxes, you know, you, um, well, I've forgotten what they call them now, but you know what I mean, the storage boxes. Do you just stack them on top and do you equal them out on one side of the boat to the other? Um, I'm assuming if you if they were all on one side, then the boat's going to tilt. You know, I could be wrong. I don't know how it all works, but this is what I thought would you know discuss here. So I've got mine. That's it. Really, really useful boxes, aren't they? I think that's what they're called. Anyway, I've narrowed mine down to about um, less than twenty boxes. And uh, I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to take those with me. Can't guarantee uh, that I will. There's no way of knowing, is there, until I get the boat and uh, the layout inside. I've been thinking about anything from a 57 foot to a 70 foot boat. I'm going to be... Um, least for the first year marina base so I can find my way around the boat and uh, get anything done what I need on the boat um, and then and in that time I'll decide whether I am happy to stay marina based um, but going on local excursions and things on the boat or whether just to stay in the marina you know full full time um, whatever it turns out that I do I am going to be exploring wider a field um, whether that will be on foot exploring the canals whether it will be um, in the car I do not know will I keep the car I'm thinking, uh, I'm planning to for the next year, hopefully, or thereabouts. But who knows? It's all going to be open to how things develop. Um, I think you need a bit of flexibility. At least that's how I'm approaching it. Um, I know there's going to be uh, a lot of... Uh, iffy days and I'm going to just uh, take that in my stride and uh, you know not try not to worry about it although I am a warrior but you know I'm going to uh, try my best not to so storage wise so being an artist an amateur artist you know somebody who enjoys art I don't really sell it well I sell a few greeting cards and that but um Having an interest in uh, creativity, uh, both in art, whether it's traditional, digital, uh, crafts, I like making, uh, you know, do a few cards um, with traditional materials. Um, I have done some screen printing and uh, yeah, I'll do a few vinyl decors and stuff, you know, I've got the machine to do that. These are the things what are going to go with me. I've watched a lot of, um, I've, I've had a, quite a bit of feedback and people say, well, you know, just take 
the clothes and, and the, uh, what you need in some essential pots and stuff. I understand that, but I suppose my position is a bit different to uh, most in that I do have other interests other than living on a boat. You know, I'm heavily into technology, photography, um, art. I like to, well, I can't do it at the moment because of suffering with long COVID. Um, but I used to like doing walks, you know, long walks. Well, not necessarily long walks, but walks. Um, recording the scenery. And uh, I'm a big nature lover. So, this means I've got quite a lot of supply, art supplies and stuff because I don't like to be tied to just one thing. I like to swap and change as I feel um, and also I like to combine my my um, photography, my um, traditional sometimes paint, uh, painting and that, drawing, whatever, um, with digital and uh, I probably will end up going maybe digital all the way but for the moment I like to keep my fingers in a few different parts. Anyway, uh, so I thought I'd just share a few photos of what I'm taking with me. It's most of it, it's not all of it, because I've got it in several different places in the bungalow at the minute. Um, so, here's a few pictures, and this is for those who are yet to go on a boat like me. And this is what, basically, I'll be taking. Whether it gets on the boat, whether it'll fit on the boat, is another matter. That'll be another video. Um, but... Uh, I think it's going to be uh, all fun and games and uh, one big learning process. So I'll be back later. Well, folks, this is something why I enjoy doing. I enjoy cooking my meals. And uh, sometimes it's at weird times and a bit different to how some people cook. Um, just giving you a taster of what I'll be doing on the narrowboat. So what we've got here, we've got some potatoes which are boiling away. We've got the meat. I've got beef and pork in here. It's been on for oh, quite some while now, about two and a half hours. Uh, about another half an hour or so and uh, and then I can try it. It's already done but I'm going to just leave it so it's extra tender. Um, if we stick the fork in you can see it's uh, it's uh, really tender. Well you might not be able to see but <laughs> and uh, yeah it's not even eight o'clock in the morning folks. <laughs> So I'm, gonna, I'm, having my, I'm having a Sunday dinner for breakfast and then I'll have a Sunday dinner again later. <laughs> Aren't that weird? <laughs> okay folks, well the dinner's now cooked. It's about quarter past eight in the morning and uh, I'm going to have a bite to eat. What I should say is I've been up since four. So, uh, you know, you think about it, if some of you get up at 8 o'clock in the morning, uh, you might be feeling a bit peckish by about 1 o'clock. So, uh, there you are. So this is a taste of what will come on my channel. Be one of the things what I'll be um, cooking. That's beef and pork, potatoes, gravy. Um, I don't like my veg. You have to excuse that.